guys, Dolly Pelli, Annie Parker Confidential. Okay, I wanted to hop on super quickly and talk about six key ways to look polished and affluent. Listen, it is literally not about buying expensive designer clothes. It really is not. With a few key tips, you can really polish and brighten up your look and walk out of the door looking polished and affluent and your very, very best. Number one, no logos. Go for quality pieces that speak on their own. Wealthy, affluent people don't logo themselves out. It's considered tacky. Visible logos all over your clothes, all over your shoes, all over your bag. No, don't do that. I'm really talking about the bags that go overboard with the logos, like the huge Tory Burch, or you know, the repeat logo on the Louis Vuitton bag. You don't wanna do that. Stay away from logos, invest in good, high quality, pieces that stand on their own. Focus on tailoring. A lot of people don't know this. Think of any item that you're going to purchase as a template that you're going to have to tailor and customize to fit your body perfectly. Whenever I buy something, I assume that I'm going to have to tailor it. It can literally make the difference from you looking a little schlumpy to looking perfectly polished and put together. It makes a huge difference. Secondly, remember this. When you're looking for clothing items, you want to fit the largest part of your body first and tailor the other part. For example, if your hips are much wider than your waist, buy the pants to fit your hips first and then have the waist taken in. If you're buying a jacket or a top, fit your shoulders and your bust first and then if needed, have it taken in the sides in order to streamline your core and your waist. That way your clothes fit you impeccably. If you like videos like this, please consider subscribing to my channel. And if you like this video in particular, please consider giving it a thumbs up. It helps my video rankings and I would greatly Really appreciate it. Next, one of the easiest, easiest ways, in my opinion, all monochromatic neutrals. That's a really easy way to look chic. For example, I'm casual today, but still, I have this ivory cream sweater and then I've got light taupe pants. These are all neutrals and they just look chic. We're talking heather gray, ivory, taupe, camel, head to toe. For some reason, I, I really can't put my finger on it, but it just always looks more expensive. Now today, I'm wearing this ivory sweater and I'm wearing taupe jeans and you gotta admit it looks pretty chic doesn't it and I will tell you this sweater I got for $39 and it is now on sale for $19.99 I'll put the link for you below everything that I'm wearing but the color matters so it also came in a lavender the lavender looks cheap the ivory looks expensive and this is just easy to throw on it's warm it's cozy it looks immediately chic Throw your coat or a long duster cardigan over your shoulders instead of putting your arms through it. It just kind of has a, uh, I'm so chic and effortless kind of look to it. Even if we're just going out to dinner, I think of my coat as another accessory. I throw it loosely over my shoulders. I've got my bag. We're strolling into the restaurant. I'm looking good. I'm feeling fine. And it just kind of takes on that effortless, cool look. <laughs> Classic oversized sunglasses, always a go-to. Here, I'll show you. Ugh. Classic oversized sunglasses, these are in tortoise shell. All right, I kind of, maybe I look like a bug, but you get the idea. In black or in tortoise shell, remember Jackie Kennedy Onassis always used to do this. And I love these for a couple reasons. One, I just think they look chic. And two, if you want to run down to Starbucks and kind of feeling a little tired, put the sunglasses on. Bonus, slick your hair back into a low chignon, put on your glasses, swipe on a red lip, boom, you're golden. <laughs> want to keep your nails simple. Stay away from decorations or jewels or all that weird kind of stuff. You just want to keep them simple and classic. During the summer, spring months, the warmer months, I like either clear or like a nice translucent baby pink that almost looks like the color of your natural nail. During the fall and the winter, I personally love the color Wicked which is a dark, dark blood red. I keep my nails decently short and I always get gels because they last much longer and I don't get the chipping, which is another thing. The minute your nails chip, take all your polish off. It's better to have no polish than chipped polish. 
importantly, you guys, invest in good quality handbags and shoes and always keep them in tip top shape. That means free from scuffs, scratches, worn out heels, worn out soles. Nothing says a bummer than an impeccably dressed woman with bad scuffed shoes. Always buy the highest quality that you can afford and remember to keep the obnoxious logos off of it. You just wanna be cool, clean, and collective. Okay, ladies, what are your key tips to looking chic and polished every time you go out? I always love hearing from you and you guys always have great feedback. So be sure to comment below. And for all things wellness, style, fitness, beauty, and healthy living, subscribe to my channel or visit me on the blog, anyparkerconfidential.com, and I'll see you on the blog. Bye, y'all.